In this video, we will demonstrate how to use the dynamic interference portion of the die simulation to check for interferences of comp between components of one assembly with components of another assembly as they dynamically move through the press cycle. First, select the interference tab and run the tool through at least one press cycle. Select stop. And then in the dynamic interference detection portion of the property manager, there are two options, simplified and incremental. Simplified checks for interferences when the tool is shut, when the stripper contacts the strip at lift height, with the tool open, and at, and at increments, in the equal increments of the strip progression. By default, it will be 10 equal increments. The incremental option will check for uh, equal, incre equal degree increments of the press cycle. In most cases, the simplified option will work with most tools, and that's what we are going to use. I am now going to select the interferences computation icon, and Logo Press will check for interferences as it goes through the increments of the press cycle. You then get a list of the angle increments and the ones that have the plus symbol out to the left has interferences within them. Down below, we have options under non-interfering components to set the non-interfering components to be either wireframe, hidden, or transparent. I'll use wireframe. I'm going to select one of the interferences in the list, and then LogoPress will zoom in on that area where the interferences are and highlight them, highlight the parts that are interfering. You can see that right now the strip is interfering with the guide rail. And what is happening is that the strip is lifting up high enough to interfere with the hook of the, of the guide rail and we need to make the guide rail taller. We can also expand the interference and look at the individual com components of that interference. If I select on another interference, we can see this one is also the interference of the strip with the guide rail. These interferences would not be detected by SolidWorks static interference. That is because the tool is designed in the closed state and this is showing an interference with the strip at lift height. But Dynamic interference detection is not a replacement for static interference detection. It is, it is in addition to, and you would still want to run the SOLIDWORKS static interference detection to check for items such as a doll going through a backup plate and the hole in the backup plate was missed. You then go through the list of interferences and make notes of things that need to be corrected and you would go and correct those interferences and then run the, the dynamic interference detection again. The dynamic interference detection and die simulation can be run at any point after the tool has been created. And we do recommend that you run these at multiple times through the design process.